today, um, I want to do a little video. This is my top five worst model trains of 2021. Now, just starting off, I'm not going to give you any starter set engines, because those are mainly focused towards kids. I'm not giving you really any kids' engines here. But mainly just engines I've really gotten. Well, engines I'm going to show off in 2021. Um, and that's basically just me saying, yeah, this isn't kids' engines. Again, I'm saying. So, yeah, no kids' engines. And these are newer models. Some of them are like 2010 models. But still models you can probably find. Um, I'm not going to do any old RSO because they didn't have great tooling back then. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm not going to be running these because you can probably find videos of me running these online. I mean, well, on YouTube. Um, and second off, just because... Now, I am going to include one starter set engine in here. That's only because it's false advertisement, and I just don't think that it should have been like that. But anyway, let's get into it. Now, before we go, we'll just do some honor honorable mentions. So first off, this is an older engine. Now, it's not anything to do with this. First off, I don't know what company made, that made this, but older engines, and this is for all of them, I cannot find, like, especially on Marks, I cannot find where these wires go if they come out. And second off, it was the eBay seller. This was complete trash when I got it. Um... Second off, now I'm going to do six. This was supposed to be five, but there is one engine I do want to add in here. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, also, another honorable mention was this. I don't know how I got this. I forget. I got that one. Someone gave that to me. I think I got this at a train show. It's not bad. Some guy was selling it, but it didn't work. But that's not the worst thing. That's not one of the worst trains of 2021, just some not great thing. Like, if you find one of these, don't buy it. It's not worth the money. Anyway, moving on. Number six, we got this. This is a Walther, Walter's Mainline. And you know what? I'm going to run it. I said I wasn't going to run it just because of one of the engines, but I'll run the stuff. I'm sorry. Um... This Walters engine. Now, I'm saying it's a bad engine because first off, I got this new from a train store. This thing has a motor problem. The trucks... Now, these are, I think, discontinued and pretty rare. Um, I think these were only limited edition, which I don't blame them. They probably didn't have much time to do prototypes and stuff and just put it out. But... At least could you put in a better motor. And see, the trucks don't really move that well. Now, I'm not saying, like, this is a terrible model and this SD60 that I'm trying to get on the track is way better. No, this is a great model, but it's not the best. So let's get this on the track and I will run it. As you can see, it has a motor problem. But I'm totally fine with that. Go in reverse. And it starts right up. And it has, I think it has directional lighting. But this is a nice little switcher for a yard. As you can see, yeah, it does have directional lighting. But one thing I don't understand about Sanjay, 400. Why is this like on every engine? 400. I guess it was a famous engine. Root of the 400. But the number is 1268. 
So, yeah. Moving on, we got the Scale Trains CSX Tier 4 Jeebo. Now, first off, I don't think all Scale Trains engines are bad. I think it's mainly the Jeebos. First off, you may be thinking, Trent, you might have broke it and been saying this is bad. I like scale trains now. First off, the plastic they used for the handrails and stuff is cheap and it does not, it's not very good. Because I've only had this thing for a couple of months now and it, it, no. Second off, these. These ditch lights work and I, I'm going to give credit to them. That's really amazing. But they're so wobbly. This one, this one that I'm wiggling here came like this. I didn't even detach it. And third off, if you're carrying an engine like this by the back, these little pegs, and this is for detail, I get it. You want detail, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, these details break off. Like, these de details break off when you least expect it onto your shirt. Like, I can't break it now, but literally, if I do this, everything will break off. And the horn, I gotta give credit to you, Scale Trains. The horn is amazing. You did great on it. It's metal, and I can't even get this off. I, I, it's not wiggling. It's on there really good. I gotta give credit to you for that. But it's not the best, and I don't like it that much. But this will be a nice trailing engine for when I get my um, Spirit of Ravina. So. And the sound is really nice. So. But yeah, as you can see, that's our name. And you can find these engines on my channel in other spots. Like, on, I mean, on other videos. But yeah. Next off, we have this. Now, this engine I didn't get in 2020. Some of these engines I didn't get in 2020. I know, I know. Mostly, I did. Only two of them I didn't get. I know that's kind of cheating, but this is my first one. This is a total piece of crap. Now, I like this engine. My grandmother got me this, and it's amazing. But I don't like what I did with it. So as you can see, I've t not vi not taken care of this, and I made it. I made it a piece of crap. My grandmother bought me this at a train store with a chassis engine. It's, this is DCC Ready by Athen Roundhouse. Now, the reason why I'm getting the uh, EMD engine for a tire for the, oh, sorry, SMTX Miss Train is because I want to have two of these. These are amazing engines, but it's just this. First off, I don't think B&O had these, which is okay. And second off, this is for all Atherin engines. I hate the couplers. Like, look at this. <sighs> the couplers aren't even to scale on the Atherin engines. They're just teeny, and I hate them. But that's for all Atherin engines. Second off, look at the running quality of this. And it doesn't even have reverse. It's not even doing anything. And look, now it's glitching out my thing. So, yeah. That's number uh, three. Or two. I don't know. Yeah, three. So we'll we 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 will put this back. Uh sorry, one second. But yeah, this still is a really nice engine for switching. Put 
this one back too. Next we have this. This is the engine that came in the starter set. Now before I show you what's wrong with this, this is a, a basic 060. Bachman will put 060 on everything. Same thing with Lionel. Now before I show you what's wrong with this, let me tell you, it is very, very graphic. I'm kidding, it's not graphic. I'm joking around. Don't take that serious. So on the box, it has a silver front and it's kind of ugly. Well, I think this improved the model. You can look it up, but this is not the front. But I, there were three boxes at the place I got this at. They all had this. Why, Bachman? Why the false advertisement? It looks like, why? Why? I don't know if it's a, like supposed to get you to buy the train and look pretty, but no, it looks terrible. Now, I'm not saying this train is bad. This is a great engine for starters. It's amazing. This is low speed. Let me show you. It's amazing. And I love this engine. It looks so good. But it's... But it's the front that's really bothering me. So yeah, false advertisement. Don't trust. Don't trust big corporations all the time. Um, but I do like Bachman. And you cannot change my mind. If you do change my mind, I'll give you ten grand. Next off, we have this. Now, I know these engines aren't being made anymore, but somehow I got this off Amazon. This monstrosity is an F unit. Now, this is my Bach, I mean, model power engine, and I hate model power. I absolutely do. Now, I know I said that this was six, five, five to six engines. Me including that other engine. Now, let me show you something that bothers me about my power. I will take it out. I hope I'm hoping the box doesn't fall. One second, sorry. It's my narrow midland that's about to fall. But I got this engine in a starter set. And I know model power is kind of supposed to be for young kids stuff what the heck is this so first off all model powers suck and you cannot change my mind like look at the speed look look at this and it sounds terrible like who's gonna want this second off for the steam engine it's so unrealistic look at that it's like a box cap diesel engine. And we'll put this on. That's why I've never really shown this. It's an ugly engine. And what? Why? Just why? Just why? Why, 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 why? Why? for starters though but if you're a high-end modeler no don't buy model power okay. but yeah we uh we'll put you where you belong i'll put you oh 
I'm gonna put this thing where it belongs. First off, um, Conrail, I got it for five dollars, and I like this, it's amazing. Also, Rapido, this is amazing. Tag me, Rapido. Um, I'm giving you a shout out because your engines are totally amazing. No one can change my mind. These are amazing locomotives, and I love this engine. I'm definitely getting more Rapido. But so far, this is all I got. And, uh, yeah. That's where you belong, Model Power. Back at the thing. No one cares about you. And number one worst engine is the Bachman Pennsylvania 2, I mean, 462 steam locomotive. This, this monstrosity is trash. First off, this was sitting at the hobby store. I can't believe once I actually wanted this until I actually got it. Second off, let me just show you. First off, this wheel, like these wheels, these, these wheels right here, this one, they should have taken off the flange because it keeps derailing on the curves. Second off, like, I understand that this is like an early Bachman model, but what is this? What is it? All you have to attach to the tender is this wire, which is gonna, like, let's say you got a long train. This is gonna rip. And don't even get me started on this thing saying it's gonna work. Look, watch. I'm gonna set this thing up on the track. And this has amazing sound. I like the sound. Now, if it was on a different engine, this would not be on the list. But this engine is trash, and I hate it, and no one can change my mind. I made a video on my channel called Possibly the Worst Engine Ever. Yeah, I was totally right. It's a bad engine. I can't, I can't even get this to work. Like, okay, we're going to turn the power on. And the thing glitches out all the time. See, look at that. Stretch. I, I hate this thing. That's why you're never going to see this on a live stream. If you request, also, I have copyright strike for some reason. If you ever request this engine on a live stream i will refuse to run this i'm actually thinking of returning this engine but yeah um i'm gonna put this in uh back here where it belongs Anyway, worst model trains of 2021. There you go. Also, repeat or tag me. You're probably one of the best model train makers on this earth and up on America's hat. All right. See ya.